we have done together this year um, in answer to God's call to do justice. Um, and so we have a picture of us doing worship just for fun. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> we might see that again sometime. All right, um, so in September, next one here. So in September, we were at Elm Street Park, um, which is a park here in Hamden, and we helped plant trees. Um, and so in that piece, there is um, something about helping there to be beauty in the neighborhood uh, where people are and finding a way to care for the environment. Let's look at the next slide. Uh, in October, we raised money and um, collected canned goods for the UCC's Mission One. And so in this, we're... Um, demonstrating a value for keeping people fed, right, for um, folks who are hungry, and also for participating as a community with other um, folks in our church together. So there's a sense of togetherness and moving as one body uh, by participating in Mission One. Um, stream cleanups. So we did a couple of different stream cleanups. Uh, and um, I couldn't resist the cute picture of Anne falling asleep at the end. Um, and again, with the stream cleanups, there's something very local about that, to say, here is a place, here is trash that we're going to pick up out of the stream, and also to care for the environment that we live in. Uh, I only had stock photos, I apologize. So for Keswick Multicare, we um, went and visited with seniors living in a nursing home and helped roll them to music time and also helped with bingo. So um, I wish I had taken that nice picture of the hands clasped together, but I did not. Um, and so with that, we're showing, uh, we're living out a sense of care for those who are vulnerable um, and um, building uh, ties of community to uh, people who have limited mobility, limited ability to get out on their own. Um, and then we saw a film on mountaintop removal in February, um, and that's one picture from it. So this is a devastating environmental nightmare. Um, and then in June, uh, along with other people in the Chesapeake Association, we brought a resolution to the Central Atlantic Conference, so the next biggest group of churches in the United Church of Christ, to say, let's not only uh, speak out to our representatives, but also let's check our own electric bills and see if we can make a choice if we are getting coal from uh, mountaintops that have been blasted off to make a choice together to buy elsewhere, to use our money to make the world a better place. So that was um, mountaintop coal removal mining. Uh, okay, Johnny and friends, we uh, put together kits to welcome um, folks, families who have a child with disabilities um, to a camp that they go to. And uh, we put together a bunch of kits, and um, it was a lot of fun. And this is, again, a sense of reaching out to folks who are vulnerable and in need of care, in this case, people with disabilities. And then we did actually go to the Baltimore Free Farm one time, although Heather and I canceled it because of rain, and then it was like perfect weather. So... That was my fault. Uh, but anyway, this is, um, again, a sense of connection to food and also to uh, being sure that people eat well and um, using the land in a positive way, creating beauty where there had been just kind of a trashed, empty lot, and uh, care for the environment. Okay, community conversation. So let's maybe scroll back. Uh, I don't know. So those are the... Um, I should have had like a landing slide. I apologize. So actually, in a year, that's kind of a lot of stuff, isn't it? All right. We are small but mighty. Yeah, all right. Um, so thinking about all these different things that we've been doing this year, and when I'm listening to uh, St. Paul in the passage we read from Romans, there were two, two pieces of that reading that stand out to me. Uh, one is that he says... I'm sorry, the mic is not really picking me up, is it? One is that he says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. 
So in one way, you can emphasize the word sacrifice, right? The sense of, oh, I'm having to give something up. But there's also something about it that is like... um, that when in traditional times, if you're thinking about sort of like sacrifice in the temple, which Paul is referring to, um, that would be an animal that they would kill, and that's sort of a one-time sacrifice. But a living sacrifice is that you're living your whole life. That is an ongoing gift to God. That's an ongoing um, way of living. And then similarly, when he says, be transformed by the renewing of your minds... So, for both of these phrases, there's a sense of an ongoing journey, moving toward God's vision together in our day-to-day lives. We're in the midst of being transformed by the renewing of our minds. We're in the midst of being a living sacrifice to God. It's about being on the journey, about making this a way of life. So I think I can call myself a gardener at this point, these days anyway. I do have a compost pile And um, so I think that qualifies, right? If you have a compost pile, then you're a gardener. Um, And I think about the social justice work that we've been doing and about social justice work in general. And sometimes social justice work, you think about um, kind of the high points, right? Like the end of Jim Crow uh, laws getting struck down or women getting the right to vote or um, prohibition, well, that didn't work out so well. But anyway, um, but this idea of sort of these big moments when big laws get passed. But I think really social justice um, is at least as much about day-to-day how we live our lives, um, how we care for uh, our neighbors, and how, and and so it's a little bit like building compost. You keep adding little pieces to the pile, and sometimes it's, um, this is ornate here, sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's greens, but anyway, um, uh, but it, the mix of things, maybe we send a letter one week, or maybe we make a c- good connection another week. Um, one day it's offering a helping hand, and another day it's offering a pair of socks. And as you add those things together, and you add in prayer and the sun and the rain of God's grace come down onto the thing that we contribute. They become the material that can nourish a new way of life. That new way of life that Jesus taught us about, which is the kingdom of God. So my prayer is that we would be faithful and that we would find joy in God's presence with us on that journey. Thanks be to God. Amen.